Hey everybody, we've got the Crown Signia here. I'm Jeff Teague. If anybody wants to watch, we're gonna go live for, oh, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes or so. We're gonna look around, we've got a Camry. We got a new Crown. So if anybody wants to watch, it's 11 o'clock on the Eastern Coast. So that's not something I'm used to doing very much at all. So let's look around a little bit. Look at this Crown Signia here. The newest Toyota Crown. We had, of course, the Crown Sedan. Now we've got the Crown Signia. Got to get used to saying it. It's inspired by the word insignia, which just shows how important this brand has been to Toyota over the years. So let's turn this camera around. Boom. All right, so if anybody wants to take a look, we're gonna go around and just show what this one's all about. If anyone wants to let me know if the sound is okay, that'd be fantastic. Let's see here. All right, so we're walking around now. We're gonna see. Hey, hey, Nathan. So that. All right, so take a look here. I got the very, very nice opportunity to film the Camry XSE and the XLE together. There are going to be four different trim levels: LE, XLE, SE, and XSE. So if you're just coming on, we're going to show it for about oh. 10, 15 minutes or so, so you can see all the details in the new Camry. The only disadvantage here is I cannot see, I totally cannot see the comments, so I don't know if the sound is working or not. I wish there was some way that I could see the comments. This is so unprofessional, so amateur. This is so amateur. Let's see here. All right, so we're gonna just walk around. If the sound's not working, then that's okay too. Big JBL here, look at that. So then we've got the shark fin antenna. This is the two-tone. There'll be four different trim levels of XSE that, or four different colors that you can get two-tone on. One of them being Ocean Gem. One of them being this heavy metal color here. If you guys can hear the sound okay, can you guys all give me a thumbs up, like like the, um, the video, because there's one like right now, and that'll just give me peace of mind that I'm doing okay here. Oh, somebody heard the sound. That's good. If you can hear the sound, just give, just like the video, thank you. All right, we're doing good then. These are 19 inch wheels, gray metallic gonna have gloss black right there this right here is actually where the turn signal is LED headlights now this is really interesting here the grill design it's gonna take a little getting used to I like it because I've had some time to get used to it but look at this right here if you get the XLE as we go over to the right and the left it's gonna be diamond shapes as opposed to honeycomb shapes so it's gonna shine bright like a diamond it also has canards on the side here. It's got functional air vents. Very cool. Now what's interesting about this Camry is, Camry is all hybrid now. It can either be front wheel drive or all wheel drive. It's gonna have 225 horsepower or 232 horsepower. Matched with an eCVT and it has on demand all wheel drive. So this one's gonna be the cockpit red and. Somebody's filming in there right now, so I want to be real cognizant, real aware. So let's go over to the Crown Signia now, our midsize SUV. The one thing you'll hear about this one is it has a six and a half foot long cargo area. So you could put something like my friend Jack there. He's six foot six, just sitting down. Hey, Jack. Did you fit in the back of the Crown? 
I did. All you, six and a half feet of me. Excellent. See, he could be a two by four, and we just went to Lowe's and brought him home. All right, so this is storm cloud color. Look at the back here. I own a crown, a limited oxygen white. I really like the styling on this one. Look how it has a wide stance as it flows down here. That's for more stabilization. It just gives it a presence, a really cool presence, right? So let's come on over here, pop that baby open. Holla. Ooh, all right. So it's got some interesting features here. One thing you'll see, we see this in some cars. Well, the Camry, I mean the Crown, the other C word. Here, we just pop that and that'll lay flat. We also pop this and it'll lay flat. And see the extension panels right there? Extension board. Ooh, okay. Let's get in here. This one's also gonna be all all wheel drive. Or, and it's gonna be all hybrid, 243 horsepower. Take a look in here. This one boasts lounge style seating. So this panel, if the seat was not all the way back, it would fold this way and you could lay all the way, this way my friends, this way. So let's lift that up. You lift me up. And then we're gonna lift this one up too. Oh boy, come on. Come on with your bad self here. I believe this is saddle tan color. Take a look at all of the space. Now I know that the seats are forward. Oh wow, we've got a model here, six foot six Jack sitting from Jack's Automotive. Six foot six. Oh, you're sitting behind yep, six foot that's six. That's where I had the seat. So this is me sitting behind me. Wow, that is really impressive. Yeah. Look at your headspace too. Yeah, pretty good with the pano roof. Six foot six, my friends. Hello. I feel bad for Jack. Everybody go to Jack's Automotive, J-A-X Automotive. He's my buddy. We go to a lot of events together. And poor guy's being used as a prop. <laughs> I think that's funny. So here we go, our crown. We've got 12.3 inch screen, 12.3 inch screen. Here, it's not as much of an issue. It's not, this is more kind of headspace. It feels roomier back here than it does in the crown sedan because it doesn't have to slow down. And so I really- JBL sound system here. Let's see what the Camry's doing. Okay. We're gonna see if we can maybe go inside the Camry just a little bit. You have to have professional courtesy around here. Hey. Here we go. Uh, park assist button, I'll look for that. That one's the limited. There's an XLE and a limited. <laughs> hey, twin turbo Toyota. Hope you can hear me okay. All right, take a look here. We're looking at the buttons. Let's see. It's very difficult because of the lighting, but we'll do our best here. You'll be able to watch this video later. This one has the fully digital, like you see in a lot of the 23s and 24s. This one also has proactive driving assist and see that sensor right there? It tests your attention level. Oh, good. Yeah, I think it's really interesting also. I'm gonna come over to the other side because I wanna show those buttons for you for Camry. So as we do, we'll come over here. That is so hot. I love how it maintains its integrity. They didn't radically change it. But look how aggressive that hammerhead hood is. Traditional Camry buyers are gonna like this and new Camry buyers are gonna like this. Yeah, let's do it, let's pop it. Great idea. When creators help creators. It's a really heavy hood. 
I remember I looked, isn't it heavy? It's heavy, right? Yeah, right here. Yeah, I noticed that it was, it, was, it was so heavy. So here we go, 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, electric motor power, 225 for horsepower for front wheel drive and then all wheel drive is gonna be 232. I just enjoy watching him work. <laughs> All right, let's come over here and we'll check out our friend Crown Signia. We're gonna walk all the way around it. One of the things you're gonna notice, the first thing I notice, of course, is the first impression, and that's gonna be this front grill design. It reminds me of Lexus TX in a way. If you agree with that, give it a thumbs up. And this one also has the hammerhead design on the hood, so I think it's real interesting that Camry and the crown would come out at the same time. Oh yeah, supersonic red would be great. Feel free to leave me a comment. I can respond as I write. Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 on both vehicles. I, I am assuming that the crown will be made in Japan. All right, so let's get in here. Yeah, the Camry should stay in uh, Georgetown. I've been to that plant in Georgetown. It's like a whole metropolis. They have their own kickball team. They have their own postal code, postal zone. How high does the Signia feel compared to the Venza? Um, it might be the same as the Venza or just a little bit lower, but it could be, I don't really know. I don't really know. It felt very comfortable. The seating is extremely comfortable. Is there a park assist button? Um, if there was, it'd be on the screen and we don't have that lit up, unfortunately, right now. Let's see here. We'll just go through what we can. Yeah, I think people are gonna be really happy with the new Camry. Oh boy, the, the lighting is just terrible sometimes when you're in these floodlights. I know they have to have it that way, but really difficult <laughs> to, to film that way. This is just such a cool vehicle here. The lounge seating. Okay, this Crown Signia, S-I-G-N-I-A, is gonna have two trim levels. It'll be XLE and Limited. Real easy to remember it. It's really gonna be no powertrain difference, no ride comfort difference or anything like that, I don't think. It'll just be features. So I should do a video, shouldn't I, on the two different trim levels and what's available. Yeah, that's cool. Did you all hear that the Venza's being discontinued after the 24 model year? Did we hear this? Did we know this? All right, so let's go back here. All right. I don't want to repeat anything, but we've got some people who came on new. And I know at 11 o'clock Eastern, not a lot of people are gonna be on right now, but that's okay. What do you guys think? Let's hear what you think about the styling of it, the look, the extended crown, versatile. It has tremendous space in the second row. Just absolutely amazing. Yeah, agreed. I, I think a lot of people are going to be happy. I can see why Venza's going away because this one's going to replace it. And I don't think it'll be too much of a stretch. Yeah, I, just, that, I believe they just announced that today. Let's look at the LED tail lights one more time. I love how companies and brands and trims and stuff like that come out with different tail light designs. Like that's a big part of styling. It says a lot about the character of your car. That's cool, man, that's cool. And then, I'm not sure if this is hands-free. It wouldn't surprise me at all. I think it is. Actually, maybe both trim levels are gonna be hands-free, but we'll have to fact check myself. Whenever I come to these reviews and reveals, you don't really know 
Hey, miles per hour, what's up? You don't really know if you can remember all the specs and things like that. We're gonna learn together. All right, I think that's all from the video today. That's 15 minutes. I wanna give everybody else a chance to film. Hope you all enjoyed it. And I'm gonna sign out now. Hopefully you'll be getting lots of videos from me on this in the coming days. Have a great night, everybody. We out of here.